This class will be, I think, deeply edifying. If you, if you <laughs> care, it won't be so hard either, right? So um, if you can learn to look at, that, at your education as that, not as school, not as this series of things that you need to check off in these courses that you need to take, but um, as the opportunity to learn the things that you want to learn, um, it's going to be far, far easier. So um, please, I, I hope um, that you guys will participate in this class a lot. Um, please ask questions. Um, there might be stupid questions, but I won't say that. Um, probably won't even think that. Um, I don't know what to think about the statement that there are no stupid questions. Um, but if I ever figure out what I think about it, I'll let you guys know, I guess. Um, ask questions. Ask a lot of questions. If you don't understand something, just raise your hand and say it. Because other people probably don't understand it either. Um, and it's far more likely that I explain something poorly than that you are incapable of understanding what I'm saying. It's far more likely that it's a user error on my side. So um, please, 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 please ask a lot of questions. Um, and give yourself the gift of, of being engaged in the class. So that being said, do we have any questions thus far? Or comments or concerns? No? Cool. Um, probably the, I probably got a little bit carried away on this course description, as I do, but sit down with it, give it a read. Um, so our objectives for this class how is that to see? Cool. Um, I want to help you guys learn how to conceptualize um, an individual's <coughs> difficulty. Um, every person makes sense. All of you make sense. All of your clients make sense. They may feel chaotic. They feel may feel like their behavior is uh, completely irrational. But the human person is not irrational. We are intelligible. We make sense. Um, one way of looking and considering a human being is a learning machine, right? We are a learning machine. And oftentimes the things that get in our way are the unhelpful patterns that we've learned that no longer serve us. Um, so what I wanna help you guys to do is help you to understand their difficulty by understanding their story. Um, I also wanna help you guys to understand how their interpersonal functioning, so the way they relate to other people in relationship is a result of that story how they've developed interpersonal defenses that protect them from unwanted interpersonal consequences um, in order to cope with that story. Um, and to understand when you do that so that you can understand how you are interacting with an individual, you can recognize how that interaction is a part of their life trajectory. And then you can know in here and now, in the moment, how can I intervene with this person in order to have a corrective emotional experience, in order to do the thing that nobody ever does, in order to say the thing that needs to be said that hasn't. Um, sometimes, right, this might look like giving the person some le leniency, right? Sometimes it's giving the person grace. Sometimes it's holding a boundary and saying like, yeah, you can't do that. Um, but unless we understand the person's story, we won't know how to intervene. Um, People's problems come up, their problems are not outside the therapy session. They will come up with you in the therapy session. So, so the patterns that lead to the emotional issues that bring people into counseling, they will act out with you in session. And the more you can understand that, the more you can actually interact in the here and now, um, which is very, very good. Um, I wanna help you guys develop awareness of your own unfinished business. The stuff that you guys all have that's gonna keep you from being a good therapist. The own, emo own emotional issues that, that you have that um, will stop you from being effective, right? So everybody has these interpersonal styles, these patterns of relating, right? One of mine, for example, is that uh, when I'm nervous or anxious or uncomfortable, I make my emotions bigger because that's what I learned to do in order to elicit more nurturance, in order to draw more attention, that makes me feel safer, right? Um, you know, people might think that between someone who's an extreme introvert and very shy and between someone who's an extreme extrovert, 
that one person's anxious and nervous and the other person's not. But, but quite oftentimes the answer is both of those people are nervous and anxious. It just looks different. In one person's household, if they were to be big and loud and, and outspoken, they would have gotten crushed. And in someone else's household, if they were to be big and loud, they would actually get the attention that they felt that they needed at that moment. In one person's household, if they were to withdraw, it would actually be safer. In another person's household, if they were to withdraw, it would actually be more painful. So um, for me, right, one of the things that I do is I, and this is one of the reasons why I like teaching, right? Because it kind of is an area that plays to this strength of being outspoken or saying the things that I want to say. Um, but that can come up, and if I'm aware of it, it can be a tool and I can recognize, okay, where does that belong? If I'm unaware of it, it's gonna come up in the context of a therapy session, and it's actually going to be self-serving um, rather than beneficial to the client. So, um, you guys are gonna do a lot of reflecting in this class, and that's hard. And that's why I say it's experientially, this is gonna be a very difficult class. Um, I want to help you guys to learn how to listen effectively and appropriately communicate empathy. Um, and I want, you guys, I want to teach you guys a more dynamic and nuanced understanding of what empathy means. Empathy doesn't mean expressing emotion to the other person. Um, and, and what empathy means, empathy is accurately being able to discern the gist of what someone's saying, the basic idea, and then just communicate that back to them. Essentially what empathy is, is trying to connect with the core of what someone's saying, and then checking in with them, and just kind of saying like, is this what you're feeling? Well, it sounds like you're feeling sad here. That's expressing empathy. Um, and we'll go into more of the nuance of it as well. Um, and the kind of central goal here is to help you guys understand and develop a really good skill of case conceptualization, which I think, um, is the most important skill as a therapist. Um, it kind of combines all these things. If you can't conceptualize and understand why does this person's behavior at this time make sense, then you're not gonna know how to help them, right? Um, for example, um, somebody who's dependent, who really wants to kind of latch on to other people for their sense of safety and security. Um, they might ask you, right? Um, hey, can we have another session this week? Right? And they might actually be in a very, very high level of distress. But here's the, the kicker with somebody who's dependent. If you say, okay, yeah, I can tell you're in this high level of distress. So let's have another session this week. Their symptoms in the next week more likely than not will actually become more exasperated, exasperated, not, that's not the word, exacerbated in the next week. They'll become more intensified, they'll become more, um, their anxiety will grow. Because essentially, what you just did is you repeated the problematic pattern in the first place, which is that this person doesn't have the strength to stand on their own two feet. They were never taught how to do that. So what's actually affected there is to say, hey, I know you're, terrified right now. I know you're feeling overwhelmed, but I think right now what would actually be best for you is if we just wait to have our normal session next week, um, and then we can reflect on kind of what went, what went wrong this week, what was difficult for you, and help you to develop a plan for the future. That's actually going to be more, more effective, more helpful. You're only going to know that if you have sound conceptualization. Now, on the other hand, you might have somebody that's like pretty avoidant pretty independent, pretty dismissive. And if they say, hey, I've been really like, I've been having a hard, their coping style is to move away from people when they're anxious, right, when they're distressed. If they say to you, hey, I've, I've been kind of having a hard time, I was wondering if maybe we could have just an extra session this week, I'm like, yes! Like, clear the calendar, where can we fit you in? Because that's this person doing something that's more helpful, which is asking for help, and um, healthier, right? So in two different people, the, the responses can be very different. You can only know that if you understand the conceptualization of the person. Um, so this is our kind of class flow. Um, we are going to kind of breeze through this because we're going to talk about the, asses the um, assessments. Attendance is required. You should be here. Um, 
you have three freebies, right? You have three missed classes for any reason. You don't have to tell me. But keep in mind, if you're sick, that's one of those missed classes, right? So if you miss two session classes up front, and then you're sick for three days at the latter end of the behavior, at the latter end of the um, semester, you're going to get docked to it. So those three Bs, um, don't abuse those, don't misuse those, um, because you don't want to oh miss class because I slept in and then actually be sick and need it and get docked. So um, that's your grade. Um, if you're if you're in the hospital, there might be an exception to that rule. Um, you need this book. Um, there's a quiz on Tuesday on the first chapter, so you like actually need the book and you need to do the readings. Um, if you don't have the book yet, there is a PDF online um, under the files section of Canvas. And I think it's titled Chapter 1 and 2 uh, Interpersonal Therapy. So um, this book is required, um, but I, and it should have been available for you guys during uh, from Slingshot. If it's not, if you have any issues getting the book past that two weeks, so like I said, we'll cover chapter one next week, chapter two the following week. So you guys do have online a PDF scanned copy of the first two chapters, but you need to get the book ASAP. Um, the other um, thing that's required here is the self-authoring program. Um, this is what we are going to do for our, um, this is gonna be the writing assignment to help really you guys to develop a greater sense of self-awareness. Um, and so it does cost $30 to buy. It's a program, it's an actual writing program. It'll give you different prompts. You'll write in the box. It'll give you another prompt. You'll write in the box. It'll give you another prompt. You'll write in the box. Um, but they give you like a two for one discount. So what I would suggest is pair up with a friend. One of, your, one of you pays the 30 bucks and gets the discount, gets the code, and then it'll give you two codes. Just give the code to somebody else. Um, and then split the cost 15 bucks between you. Um, but if you don't have this, if you don't have this, you'll, you'll fail the class. So um, it's not optional. Um, and we will um, next, probably next class, we're, we're gonna go into chapter one. We'll cover this a little bit more. Um, this assignment, if you guys wait on this assignment till the night before, it will kick your butt. Um, if you chip away at it, it'll be really, really easy, right? So most of the sections for this assignment are like, okay, just write for two to 10 minutes and kind of just write it out, write it out. Um, and so it's really, really easy if you guys start like this week to just do a little bit every day, 10, 15 minutes every day, and it'll be like seamless. You guys won't find much difficulty in it at all. But if you guys wait till the day before, um, all those self-critical parts will come up um, and your grade will go down. Um, most likely. Um, if there's um, any other assigned readings, I'll give you give them to you on Canvas. Um, so, uh, the coursework at the beginning of each class. Are we till ten thirty or ten forty five? Ten forty five. Oh man, we're good. I thought I had five more minutes. Um, at the beginning of each class, the reading is really really important for this class. And so I make this class very uncomfortable <coughs> for you if you don't do the reading. So at the beginning of classes, usually on Tuesdays, but sometimes it'll be on Thursdays. Next class, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have each of you guys write your name on an index card. I'm gonna take that card, I'm gonna put that in a box, I'm gonna shuffle up the cards. And each Tuesday at the beginning of class, I'm going to draw two cards and say those names. And you will be, whoever's on those names, no passes, no phone of friends, you guys will be required to stand in front of the class and give a presentation on, for just, I think it says five minutes, I need to change that for four minutes, for the record. Four minute presentation on one aspect of the chapter. It's um, a pretty easy assignment if you do the right reading, and it'll feel pretty uncomfortable if you don't. Um, you guys can thank my wife for this assignment, which she was like so upset that I added it because uh, Professor Carreño, has anybody been to Austria yet? Yeah, so you guys know this assignment. This is copy and pasted from his syllabus. Professor Carreño used this assignment and it worked very effectively to make sure everybody does the readings. Um,
So you will be required to give the presentation. The grading will be relatively easy. This is worth, it's worth 50 points. If you do a pretty good job, you'll get a 50 out of 50. If you do a okay job, you'll get a 40 out of 50. If you do a job where it knows, where it shows that you're kind of know what you're talking about, but mostly saying but and um and kind of and talk about stuff from the last chapter, you probably won't do so well. Um, but yeah, any questions about that assignment? Oh, um, the names will actually go back in the card deck. So you're never off the hook for the reading, so you could get called twice. Um, by the end of the semester, everybody will have presented at least once, um, and if not, by three quarters of the semester, we'll shift things around to make sure that you guys all present. Yeah. Are we allowed to use notes that we took for the chapters to be presenting? Um, yeah. I'd encourage you not to, but yeah. Um, it's four, it's four minute presentation. It's not that much. It's not that big of a deal. You don't need to tell me the whole chapter. But I want you to tell me a section and show me that you read it. That's all. Any other questions? Was there another question? Sorry, two separate people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, any other questions? Just because if we did one person each class, we wouldn't have the time to get through everybody. Yeah. So it's just a specific section from the book or the chapter? It's on the what was assigned reading, okay. right? So you can't present on the reading from three weeks ago. Okay. Um, you present on the assigned reading for that week. Um, how strict is like the four minute thing? Like, does it have to be exactly four minutes? Are we supposed to be like keeping very specific? No, yeah. no, you don't need to. You should be prepared to give it for four <laughs> minutes. It shouldn't be two minutes. Um, and it shouldn't be six minutes. And I'll let you know when four minutes is up. Um, you are not being graded on your ability to present a like YouTube video of like, the textbook in four minutes like that's not it right I just want to I want to I want you to capture and this is why a section of the chapter right and speak about it well for a four minutes any other questions it's harder than my last class huh uh, I would say so yeah yeah yeah, yeah it is um, you are expected to come into class to participate um, there is a test one test in the class, final exam, um, whenever our final is, which is Friday the 3rd of some, I guess it's right here, I could look at it. <laughs> Sorry for all you guys, I can't see it with my big head. Uh, Friday, May 3rd, from 8 till 10. 100 uh, questions, multiple choice, pretty basic. Um, it won't be exceedingly difficult, uh, but if you're not familiar with the material, it will be. Maybe. Um, the writing assessment, so this is a self-authoring program. Um, so this is split up in three different sections. Um, I'll talk about those a little bit more below. Um, but like I said, one of the really important parts of this class is helping you guys develop your own self-awareness. Um, so this is, I think, going to be a, a good assignment to help you guys do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then the final paper. Um, there will be a final paper due at the end of the semester. I have it below what date it's due on. I uh, probably should have put it there. That would have been helpful. Um, and what this paper is, is at the back of your books, in Appendix B, I believe it is, is a case conceptualization. Um, and so what you guys will be doing is you will be writing a case conceptualization on yourself. So essentially this guidelines for treatment planning, appendix B, um, and I will give you guys more instructions um, in a couple weeks when we get closer to the end of the semester. Um, but essentially what you'll be doing is you'll be doing a case conceptualization on yourself, right? So the writing assignment is strictly to help you in general raise your personal awareness, right? And then this assignment is to help you prove that you understand the things in the class 
by integrating your personal awareness with the concepts of the interpersonal process in therapy. Um, now, of course, you will be elaborating on it because you'll be writing it from the perspective of the therapist, but you, your client, will be the client. So um, there will be a little bit of elaboration. Um, yeah, you'll, you can embellish a little bit, but it really should be about you. Um, you'll have to use your imagination for, okay, what might have happened in the sessions? And you don't have to go line by line, but you have to have, the goal would be to have a sense for what your defenses are and how they would come up in a therapy session with a therapist. Um, so this just, um, and then there's, I guess I didn't add it up there, um, weekly reading quizzes. Every Tuesday, not every Tuesday, because there are some weeks where we just cover a chapter over two weeks. Um, for each chapter, there's a 10 point reading quiz um, that will ask you multiple choice questions on the chapter that you just read. So this will be due at 9 a.m. on whatever Tuesday it is, and those specific dates are listed below. Um, all of my assignments are due at 9 a.m. Okay, I want you guys to hear that and hear it again. They're all due at 9 a.m. Because I care about your sleep, and I care about your sleep schedules. And I think it's a terrible disservice that teachers do to make all the assignments due at midnight because you never go to sleep if there's an assignment due at midnight because you're mostly trying to get it done or you know how to be a good student. And in that case, you'll be very successful in life. Um, but um, all the assignments are due at 9 a.m. But the quizzes will be 10 points on the chapter. Um, if you did the reading, you should do well in the quizzes. Um, those will be on Canvas, so that will be before class. Um, so the self-authoring program um, is split up into three different parts, right? So part one is going to be future authoring, and you're just going to kind of talk about hopes and dreams for the future, what your kind of vision of your personal future is. Um, part And that's due on February 15th. Part two is present authoring, so you're going to be writing about your virtues and your vices. Um, and that will be due on Friday, March 8th. Um, and then past authoring, you're going to um, look over the periods of your life and talk about some of the um, important but difficult things that have happened um, and write about those. Um, there is a um, attached document. We might have time to go over it today instead of on um, Tuesday, but what I would really, I, you guys probably will have a lot of questions about this because the um, descriptions that I give for this assignment are a little bit vague because the assignment is a writing program. So the instructions on what you need to do are in the assignment itself. And so I would really encourage you guys, um, if you have time to, to get on that and like start a little bit for a chapter or for the first sec section like this weekend. Um, the first section is literally like 10 minutes long. It's like right for 10 minutes. That's it. Um, because I think that'll help probably answer a lot of the questions that you guys might have for this. But also please um, feel free to ask any questions that you might have. Um, and then final paper. Um, attendance. I'll take attendance each class. Class presentation is out of 50 points, and then the final is worth 200 points. Um, does anybody have any questions about any of the assignments? What questions might you guys have? Um, see, that's the issue, right? You ask that question, does anybody have any questions? And that's a closed-ended question, and it's either yes or no. But if you ask what, if any, questions might you have, it opens up the dialogue a lot better. So what, if any, questions might you guys have about the assignments? It's not a brief summary of the whole chapter. A section that stood out to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, now that section should be sufficiently long, right? If it's a section that's like three sentences, as there are some sections, um, you just won't have enough to describe. Um, but really what you're doing is you're not saying what you think about the chapter, and you're not giving your own analysis or interpretation of the chapter, or what, what inspired you. Um, 
you are presenting what was written in the text. Yeah, so the goal of the assignment is to display that you re read and comprehended whatever section it is. Yeah, what other questions might there be about um, the assignments? Yes? I have a question. Where is this like on your on campus? Files. Thank you. Yeah, I'll uh, move it around um, so it's, I'll try to put this all so it's um, on that as front page. Yeah, yeah. But it is, all this stuff is available under files. Other questions? Yes. So for the writing, are there um, limitations as per number of words? Say yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, each section, the, for most of the sections, the limit is about a thousand words. And so most of the sections, and actually I will, um, um, yeah, let me, I'm going to come back to that because if, are there any questions that are not about the writing assignment? Because I, I'll actually show you guys what the writing assignment looks like. Any questions that aren't about the writing assignment? Okay. Um, so, yeah, it was weird, right? Tuesday was Monday. I don't understand that. Um, this is, just goes through the semester and, um, all the dates and the things that we'll be doing in class. Okay. So, um, this is the writing assignment. So what we're gonna begin with is uh, future authoring. And this helps envision a meaningful future three to five years down the road to develop a de detailed plan um, for the future that you would like um, if your life was set up in the way that you'd want. Is this like the extra credit assignment we did for... Similar, yeah, yeah. This is the actual thing that the extra credit was based oh, on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, much more intensive than that. Yeah. That on steroids times three, maybe on crack. <laughs> um, what would your life be like? How would you set it up? And there would be the different sections. The present authoring, you will go through your virtues and your vices. Um, the past authoring, you will remember and articulate key positive and negative life experiences, um, splitting your life up into different sections of time. Um, read me. All the sections are delivered through the program. These are not instructions, but a brief overview of the sections. The program walks you through it uh, with its specific instructions. Um, so for the future authoring program, there will be eight questions. What could you do better? And that says, you know, write for about two to 10 minutes, at least two minutes, um, no more than a thousand words. And you hit next and you go on to the next page. You guys will not be graded on punctuation. Um, you won't be graded on um, grammar, um, mostly because I'm so poor at grammar and punctuation, I wouldn't know what to grade. Um, but what you will be graded on is effort, which is hard to assess, um, and the rubric will be available later on. Um, you guys will be graded on whether it feels like you tried or not. And if you really tried and you say, hey, I really tried, my grade doesn't reflect that, you come to me and we'll talk about it, and then we'll talk about what you're trying to articulate and identify, like, what was hap what happened, right? You guys, if you put your best foot forward on this, should all do pretty well. Um, you're graded on your attempts to get to know yourself better. Um, and so that's why getting to know yourself better is hard. It's not something that can happen quickly. And so if you guys try to do this assignment the night before, you're gonna be screwed. Um, so the first couple sections, there's about eight sections. Um, and then after you've answered all those, those are a thousand words about each two to 10 minutes. Um, you'll be asked to write for 15 minutes about your ideal future without criticism, without editing. So this section I think is about, uh, is less than 8,000 words. Um, but the goal here is really to help you guys connect with what you think, not to write eloquently and perfectly and completely nail it down. It's to kind of dream about what could be and really connect with what's actually happening for you and where you um, are wanting to go. Um, and then the second section here, you'll describe your ideal future. 
you'll name it of I want to do this, 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 and these eight goals. You'll choose three to five, and then you'll write about those in a little bit more detail for each one. Um, where are you? Do I want to be here? Any questions thus far? No. Okay. So this is the program itself. And this is essentially the format, right? Welcome back. All your previous work has been saved. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, go to the summary, print it out. So 2.5, oh, we don't wanna go there. General, general instructions, one. This essentially says everything that I just said to you. So I'm, I'm not gonna repeat it here. Um, this essentially says everything that I just said to you, so I'm not going to repeat it here. This essentially says what I just said to you, so I'm not going to repeat it here. So you see the details are very, are very detailed. That's why they call them that. Um, a, lot of, a lot of details in the instructions. Okay, so one thing you could do better. Right, so this is what I wrote. And this was just me sitting down and saying like, okay, what can I do better? and just hitting the ground running, right? Um, and I typed, and this took me probably less than, well, probably 10 or more minutes, but the goal here is to um, write for at least two minutes and then move on, right? Um, yeah. Then the next section, what would you like to learn more about in the next six months, two years, five years, think and write for about 10 minutes and move on. The next section, improve your habits. What habits would you wanna work on? Um, the next section, and this is like this for the next eight sections. Um, so I'll take about, you know, 10 minutes. So like I said, if you, you know, chip away at it, this would be a really easy assignment. If you don't, um, you'll probably hate me. And then here, right? So you have gone through these different sections and just kind of free thought, right? You've just free thought, right? And then it's saying like, okay, now you've wrote for at least like two minutes sit down for 15 minutes and try to put that all together. Who do you want to be? Uh, what do you want to do? Why do you want to do these things? How do you plan to achieve that goal, right? Um, and then you write about the future to avoid. Um, and then this is, um, I believe, right, the completion of the first section. And so you actually, by chipping away at it, write a lot, um, but it doesn't, if you chip away at it, it's really probably the most you'll write the easiest. Um, the next section is specific goal identification, right? So then you're going to go and you're going to type the name of your goal and you're going to write the goal description. After that, you're going to write the different uh, sections here. So you're going to have goal one, goal two, goal three. Um, although you guys will not have to write all eight. You guys don't have to do eight. Um, I think I said I want you to do four or five. Um, and you'll write your goals. And then you will prioritize your goals to see, okay, which of these goals is the most important goal in your life. Um, and then you will go through each one that you just wrote. So for, for each of the four or five, <coughs> you'll write about evaluating your motives, considering the broad social impact, considering the details for goal attainment, <coughs> identify obstacles, monitor progress. Um, it's okay, especially for this section, it's okay if these are a little bit more on the brief side compared to some of the other sections. So you go through for goal one, right? It's gonna tell you what your goal is, and then you're gonna talk about your motives for that goal. It's gonna tell you what your goal is, and then you're gonna talk about the social impacts. Um, it's going to tell you what your goal is, and then it's going to tell you to consider how you're going to get that. It's going to tell you what your goal is, and then you're going to go through, um, and you're going to do that for each one. Um, and then, um, so you can see here, right, this was the goal. That was evaluating motives, considering the impact, considering the details, and that's where I am. That's why it says that, monitoring progress. Same thing, and you do that for each goal. Um, and then, at the end, you get this beautiful thing. 
And what you're gonna do is you are going to do a printer-friendly report. You're gonna save it as a PDF and you're gonna put that on Canvas. Yes? Is that only due at the end of the semester? That whole thing is due um, in three weeks. Um, about, so that's part one. Um, and it is due on Thursday, February 15th at 9 a.m. Um, and then part two, A and B, will be due on Friday, March 8th. Part three, these are due about every three weeks. Um, so. And then this is not the final paper. These are separate from the final paper. The final paper will be essentially what you'll do is you'll take all the stuff that you've learned by reflecting on yourself, and you'll combine it with all the kind of lecture stuff and write a um, case conceptualization. Other questions? Um, you said that like, you can start working on it at a date. Um, uh, make sure you save it, yeah. Yeah, don't do it all in one sitting. So do 10 minutes in the morning, hit save, right? Do 10 minutes before you go to dinner, hit save, and you'll like you'll chip away pretty pretty quick, quickly. By putting about 20, if you put 30 minutes or 20 minutes into it a day, you'll be done in, in a week and a half, I think. Yeah. A lot or, or easy, or hard. Um, or all of it. Well, you said that like, you put 30 minutes a day. Any other questions before we wrap up for today? Thank you for joining me. I will see you on today's Thursday, because Tuesday was Monday. I will see you guys on Tuesday. JP. Yes, sir. I watched the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once. Yeah. Amazing. 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 Like, it makes you think so differently. Did you cry? Yes. Yes. The rock scene. And the girl yeah. that fell off the cliff and the monster center. Dude, the Everything Donut? Crazy. Crazy. I, I love it. Yeah. Good to have you. Yeah, take care. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Take care.